Hi, Jafar. How are you? Very good. How about you, Natalia? I'm good. I'm good. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. So I want to start off just by asking a very brief introduction question. Can you tell us briefly about the story of JMR Infotech? The journey so far has been quite interesting, exciting and enriching. Around 14 years from now, to be precise, 16 January 2007. That is when we started our first office and that was in UAE. Since then, we have grown our business many, many folds. Today, as I speak, we operate in 30 plus countries, spanning across all the key continents across the globe. We have close to 600 plus members as part of JMR family who are serving our global client base. Today, we have industry veterans who manage various facets of our business operations independently. We strongly believe that we are at the cusp of making a transition from a boutique, mid-size organization to the big league through partnership like with Seed Group. We always believe in going to our clients with end-to-end -end technology offerings, spanning across application solutions, infrastructure solutions, using advanced emerging technology and tools like artificial intelligence, machine learning, RPA, and so on and so forth. So in a nutshell, yes, it gives us a sense of satisfaction. All this while, it has been interesting, exciting, and enriching experience, and looking forward for the coming journey. Same here. Thank you so much for that. And just you know, out of curiosity, when was the time that you realized that business was quickly accelerating for you? And was there a specific opportunity or gap that only JMR and Fotech can fill in the market? So we decided that we want to be top 10 IT companies worldwide. And we gave some financial numbers as target to us. We said we want to do $50 billion turnover with a market cap of $250 billion. Now, this was not a mere exercise to set some goals. We followed it up with a series of workshops series of leadership huddles, brainstorming sessions, looking around the opportunities, challenges, and then we decided to embark on building end-to-end -end digital platforms, solutions, which can serve B2B2C customer segment. And then we embarked on three unique streams, and today, three years have passed, and I'm very pleased to let you know that all these three platform solutions have come out of the development factory, we also have created some successful differences. If I have to dwell, because you said, what is there unique? Now, if you look at today's time, this pandemic time, every single business house is under pressure to start digital in initiatives. They have to go online. They have to lift their digital game if they want to sustain and grow their business. So we thought about it three years back. One of our platform, basically, it is a digital ecosystem. So if you talk to any CEO today, whether it is banking, whether it is real estate, whether it is auto, any industry, they have a mandate. The priority of the mandate is to go digital, to digitize the end-to-end -end customer journey, and which basically will involve a lot of dollar investment, which will involve a lot of time. But today we have a platform and a business model to launch. What we are going to do in the coming days is going to launch this platform in countries like UAE, where we are going to invite these business houses to come on this platform and launch onto this opportunity because through this platform, they can automate their entire customer journey end to end. It's a complete digital system. There is no entry barrier. We're not going to charge anything. Banks can come. So their problem will be sorted out, but at the same time, we have a business model for creating revenue streams which will be based on transactions, so which is going to be basically an absolute game changer for us. Thank you. That was very interesting. So then would you say that this experience made you stand out from your competitors? All this while, as I said, we had a very comprehensive offering of technology solutions and services, but with the addition of these MarkU digital end-to-end -end platforms as part of our solution portfolio, it has definitely elevated the whole pitch, the whole story. Uh, and especially now with the current scenario, the current business scenario where you see everywhere digital initiatives are going to come, we feel that yes, we have a competitive edge 
compared to our competitors. So tell me more about the customer side then. What kind of experience does your customer base have that is really like no other? Before I get into the uh, specifics of this question, I want to share some statistics with you. Mm -hmm. Worldwide, when you talk about transformation, digital transformation, technology transformation engagements, 25% of such projects, they fail to take off, they mm -hmm. fail. Basically, the project's shelf during the course of implementation. Then you have around 50% of engagements, projects, which fail in one or other dimensions. It fail to achieve timelines, fail to meet the budgetary estimates, fail to get the desired business objectives. Why? Because for these transformation projects to succeed, there are certain key success factors. And when you talk about these key success factors, these success factors are owned not just by the vendor who is implementing it. A lot of these key success factors have to be owned by the customers themselves. But the challenge today is customers are busy with their business priorities. In many cases, they don't have the experience to get into such kind of transformation engagements. And because of which, what happens? Once you start the engagement, the blame game starts. The customer will say, vendor, it is your problem. Vendor will say, customer, it's your problem. And then you have conflicting situations and things like that. So knowing this ground reality, we have devised a very unique engagement model, which we call as extended arm, mm -hmm. which gives us a huge edge. So what we do is basically using this engagement model, we think, plan, execute along with our customers, on behalf of our customers, wearing the customer hat, we try to bridge the typical gap which exists between the vendor and customers. So before even getting into the active phase of the project, we try to analyze, discuss with the customer, what are those uh, areas where they are weak. We looked at the KSFs and then we try to proactively suggest uh, solutions so that those gaps can be fixed or filled before we get into the active phase mm -hmm. of the engagement. That's very important. So that is very unique. Our extended arm engagement model, which is highly customer centric, mm -hmm. which is based on our business DNA, which basically gives us a huge edge. Believe me today, over a period of last 13, 14 years, we have we've had the privilege to deal with around 180, 200 clients and each one of them is a referenceable client for us. And one more uh, point which I want to mention here is many times when it comes to technology projects, people look at it, perceive it from technology engagements. Customers don't spend huge amount of dollars, millions of dollars to buy just an advanced technology, just to buy a global brand product. No, their primary objective is business growth. They have certain business imperatives. So when we come into play in the engagement with the customer, we try to understand those business imperatives in the beginning itself right. and try to make those business imperatives as our project goals, mm -hmm. not just go live with ERP, go live with uh, lending module, CASA module of banking or something. That is not the goal. The goal has to be in line with the business objectives. As a team, from the day one, we try to understand that and make that as project goals. Certain goals can be immediately measured after go live, say, for example, uh, turnaround time, processing time and so on and so forth. Certain goals take time, for example, market share, revenue growth and things like that. So we handle the customers during this journey work very closely to collect these data and then feed in back to ensure that we jointly create success stories. And then we proudly say that we engage with our customers and we were able to fulfill uh, their dreams when it comes to their business objectives and imperatives. So we are a bit unique and different when it comes to our delivery engagements through our extended arm model. That's fantastic. Looking at where JMR stands now, what are the company's biggest opportunities right now? As I said uh, a while ago, this pandemic uh, has opened also a plethora of opportunities for technology companies. Today, if you ask any business CEO, any business, you name it, their mandate is to go digital. The mandate is to ensure that they digitize the end-to-end -end customer journey. Unfortunately, we started 
this journey much much earlier and today we are completely prepared with the right digital platform solutions mm -hmm. and especially the bigger ones b2b to, to c to onboard all these business houses give them the right platform and when you talk about these you know massive digital initiatives you're talking about a plethora of surround technology needs say for example infrastructure security and we being a player who basically covers the end to end spectrum mm -hmm. of technology solutions and services today are extremely well placed to capitalize on these opportunities and what we needed was a little bit of brand support and push and we are here as part of the strategic partnership with seed group can you tell us a bit more about the purpose of this partnership with seed group we at jma strongly believe in talent win games but strategic partnership which can help influence outcomes through its relationship and brand can help win championships you see we are looking at the strategic partnership not just for uae for a wider region which is middle east and africa and if you look at the mia market middle east and africa market it is primarily relationship driven relationship which is built on trust and for us it was very important to get a brand which can help us get that going bring in that relationship that was one primary objective of the strategic partnership we are very confident about our delivery capabilities our solution offerings our oem relationships which primarily revolves around oracle mm -hmm. but we wanted the right strategic partnership which can help us bring in that brand visibility and bring in that relationship element mm -hmm. that was one of the primary objective i definitely want to take this opportunity to add one more key important aspect when you talk about the uae market as per se uh, players like us who have the delivery development centers based out of india are perceived as uh, foreigners and when you are seriously looking at this market we wanted to make sure that we expand our local presence we build a local large team and to get that local branding it was very important for us to look at a brand like seed group which will help establish our big team and look at those big strategic transformation initiatives in this country that was another key reason to look at the seed group partnership the uae is on its way to be the number one country in innovation here being in the uae how is jmr planning on staying on the leading edge of innovation well uh, if you ask me frankly innovation is very key important if you have to ensure sustainable stable growth then you must innovate and it is a continuous process if you don't innovate you're out and dusted so we at jmr have made innovation as part and parcel of our core dna of the business we do spend huge amount of monies in our r&d work we have a multi pronged approach when it comes to innovation it's not just the in-house research and development we basically work with premier educational institutions and through industry institute collaboration we try to tap the young minds and talents uh, by conducting hackathons by conducting boot camps by throwing them real life business problems and uh, you will be surprised uh, you get to find some real interesting new ideas and solutions coming from this particular initiative and same time we also look at working with our customers because customers have the real life problems they are facing the real life problems continuous interaction we make use of our strategic partnership for us every customer we try to build a strategic partnership mm -hmm. so that we have the comfort to interact with them try to understand their real life problems and keep innovating to address those problems and challenges so for us at jmr it has going to be a continuous process 
And as we grow our business, we are going to invest more and more in innovation to ensure that we keep up the required pace which is required in this fast trending digital world. So you're a local company, hence how do you see this creating jobs for locals? I'll touch upon two aspects here. Personally, I'm here in UAE for the last 27, 28 years. For me, this is like my second home. And um, from business perspective, as I said, we started off 14 years back uh, and our first operations was in UAE. So I have a lot of affinity towards this country. And when you are looking at creating opportunities for yourself, for your organization from this country, then it's very, very important that you give something back to this country. So definitely this will be uh, at a very high level uh, in our agenda to nurture, tap the young local minds, upskill them, train them in emerging technologies and trends and try to use them as part of JMA family. We will be privileged to have uh, a good amount of local staff members working with us. Okay, so you're now expanding across sporting. Where do you see synergies? Well, if you look at uh, from um, an outside perspective, sporting and technology appears to be completely two different lines. But I'm talking it from UAE parlance, GCC parlance. If you see, especially in UAE, it's a workaholic culture. People work from morning to evening. And when it comes to weekends, those who are sports enthusiasts, I know they want to go out and play, uh, pursue their passion. But unfortunately today, uh, in this country, you don't have uh, the right infrastructure which combines beautiful parks as well as sporting infrastructure so that you can go with your family, friends, folks. Family and friends can relax, they can enjoy, can have a picnic and same time you as a sports enthusiast go and play and pursue your you know, uh, passion and so on and so forth. So we saw an opportunity there which we wanted to tap. That was one objective. And then we, we thought at the end of the day our wider business is with the corporates. And what best way you can have than connect with them through sporting? We are looking at serving the corporate houses, business houses, common institutions. We are talking about giving them annual memberships to our facilities. And through this, we want to give them a five-star hospitality service, connect with their uh, various stakeholders in these organizations, covering the length and breadth of the organization, build relationship rapu, which will help us our wider business of infotech. So how are you adapting to these new technologies then? A while ago I spoke about innovation. We always look at uh, the trends, what's happening in the technology. And as part of our product initiatives, solution offerings, we always try to bring in the latest emerging cutting edge advanced technologies to our portfolio. So today uh, I would say we have sufficient expertise to do artificial intelligence projects. We have expertise in machine learning. Our digital platform solution is fully integrated with virtual reality, augmented reality, you name it. So we are always keeping pace with all what is happening in the industry. Any plans to establish a training academy or center for learning for your customers in the UAE? Excellent question, Natali. Uh, if you see, I started off by saying that we are looking at uh, this particular collaboration, not just for UAE, for the wider region, Middle East and Africa. And if you see, not only in the MIA region, worldwide, uh, UAE has created its own charm. People would love to come to UAE to undergo trainings, workshops and things like that. So we want to tap on this particular opportunity, build training centers, center of excellence, especially to start with in banking, because over a period of time, we are known to be banking specialists. We've built that reputation. Majority of our clients are basically banks and financial services. So as a first step, we'll focus uh, in establishing uh, a training center, a center of excel excellence covering the banking domain, wherein we would invite our uh, prospects, our clients from various regions to come and undergo various uh, workshops on new and emerging trends and this is this will also help us you know to connect and build 
strengthen the relationship with our prospects, with our clients, opening doors for us. So yes, to answer your question, we do have plans and we'll be setting up uh, training centers and center of excellence, especially to start with in banking. We want to know more about your customer base. So can you tell us a bit more about the type of clients that would benefit greatly from your product or service? So over a period of time, we have uh, gained the image of banking specialists. So if you look at our uh, client base today, majority of them are banks and financial services. We cut across the entire spectrum of application solutions for banks, be it be co-banking, transactional banking solutions, channel banking, risk and analytics, all kind of analytical solutions for banking group, enterprise risk management, credit risk, market risk, operation risk, performance management, multi-dimensional profitability, business analytics, you name it. Today, if you see UAE is becoming the financial hub, not only for the region, but for the whole world. So we feel that there's a huge opportunity. Even the country today is reducing its dependency on oil and gas. And we strongly believe that banking and financial services sector will be the key driver to bring in this change. So we have quite geared up uh, banks who are looking to lift their digital story, banks who are looking at doing end-to-end -end transformations, they all will be our key core targets, prospects in the country and in the region, working closely with Seed Group. Then, as I said uh, a while ago, we have a boutique of horizontal offerings covering end-to-end -end technology solutions and services spanning across application solutions, infra solutions. We are a global uh, platinum partner for Oracle. We work with Oracle very, very closely globally in various regions. And I understand UAE is, is, is a big market for Oracle. So using the horizontal offerings in the infrastructure solution space, in the technology solution space, in the application solution space, we'll be targeting various other industry verticals. You name it like commons, telcos, oil and gas, health, you name it. Third, as part of our MarQ digital platform solutions, we have built something for edutech. And if you see today, everything is going online when it comes to education. And most of the education technology companies, they are focusing on digital content. The focus is how to push digital content. But we are different, we are unique. We have created this platform through which educational institutions can implement differentiated learning, personalized learning based on the different learning abilities. Every single individual student today has a different learning ability. Some can just hear and understand, some wants to see visuals. You categorize through some scientific testing process, you understand and assess and find out what is their learning ability. And based on that, you basically teach them. You can build customized, you can build any content. So this is uh, a definitely going to be a game changer platform for us. And we'll be focusing on educational institutions. We'll be focusing, uh, uh, working with uh, ministries uh, who basically regulate and manage the educational institutions in the country and so on and so forth. Then lastly, as I said uh, about uh, the digital platform, which basically brings together the wider ecosystem, the wider business houses, be it be real estate, auto, banks, financial institutions, to digitize their end-to-end -end customer journey and things like that. Any and every business house becomes a potential prospect. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today, Jaffa. I wish Pleasure you the best of luck with the private office.